system, the unit of mass is the kilogram. Unlike for example, meter, ampere or joule, the prefix kilo is already in the name of the kilogram. While other units of mass, for example, ton, metric centner, or gram, Don't worry. This is the way Hikipi is showing his love. So, other units of mass, for example, ton, metric centner or gram, do not contain prefixes from the table 2, which we constantly used in the previous episodes. Therefore, to convert the units of mass, we will use this chain. The largest unit of mass is a ton. It's followed by centner, then by kilogram and gram. How many times have we tried to remember that there are 10 metric centners in one ton? and a thousand grams in one kilogram. And how many centners are there in one kilogram? Are kilograms in a gram? Got confused? So did we. And what if you need to remember only three numbers in a row? 10, 100, 1000? And also remember that 10 is 10 to the first power. 100 is 10 to the second power. A thousand is 10 to the third power. Take a look at how easily you can use this chain. There are 10 metric centners in one ton. 100, or 10 to the second power, kilograms in one metric centner. From a ton to a kilogram, we meet factors. 10 and 100, which is a thousand. So, one ton is equal to 1000, or 10 to the third power kilograms. Similarly, one kilogram is a thousand, or 10 to the third power grams. So, here is rule number one. If you need to convert in the same direction as the arrows show, for example, tons to centners, centners to kilograms, kilograms to grams, you should multiply by all factors that come your way. 0 0.03 of a ton, convert to kilogram. So 0 0.03 must be multiplied by 10 to the third power. The answer can be left in this form if you need to solve problems in physics. Or you can make some calculations and write down the answer 30 kilograms. Convert 6 metric centners to kilograms. So 6 needs to be multiplied by 10 to the second power, and this is 600 kilograms. 0 0.037 of a metric centner needs to be converted to grams. Moving from centners to grams we encounter two factors. 10 to the second power and 10 to the third power. Therefore, we multiply centners by these factors. Making some calculations we get 3700 grams. Convert 1.3 kilograms to grams. 1.3 is multiplied by 10 to the third power. The answer can be left in this form, or it can be written as following. 1,300 grams. Well, let's move on to rule number two. We will convert the units of mass in the reverse direction. That is against the arrows. As a professional educator, I conclude, if we go against the arrows, we change the sign of the exponent. Since when did you become an educator? If you were less distracted by ladies, you would notice incredible changes in my personality. Even though it doesn't sound scientific, but it works. We go against the arrows. We change the sign of the exponent. Here are some examples. Convert 320 kilograms to tons. 320 should be multiplied by 10 to the negative third power. This is already an answer, but you can also write it down like this. 0.32 of a ton. Convert 4,500 grams into kilograms. You need to multiply 4,500 by 10 to the negative third power. And this equals to 4.5 kilograms. 8,300 kilograms are to be converted to metric centers. We simply rewrite 8,300 and multiply it by 10 to the negative second power. We've already got centers. Since in this case, we are going against the arrows, it is important to change the sign of the exponent to the opposite. The answer can be written as 83 centners. 82,000 grams are to be converted to metric centners. Grams should be multiplied by 10 to the negative 3 and by 10 to the negative 2. After some calculations we get the answer. 0 0.82 of a metric centner. Now try to convert by yourself. The answers as you already know can be found by the link in the description. Good luck. See you in the next episode.